one. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Stephen Lambert. I am the ASIN chair or chairman. What does that mean? Good question. Um, it means I get to stand up here and talk a little bit about ASIN and what we do, um, and basically act as a bit of an advocate and uh, try and help push ASIN along in the right direction as best I can. Um, Gunny mentioned uh, he's new in the role, and one of the things we're looking at doing is reshaping ASIN for our members. This is a membership community, generally, um, so you get out of it what you put into it. So the first thing I would say is make sure you get involved in our, our work streams, in our events, in everything that we do, um, because the more that you put in, the more that you and the rest of the membership will get out of what we do here in ASIN. And I think that's really important when we look at the automotive industry, this is the automotive electronics industry here, when we look at the automotive industry, um, the phrase I was going to use, and I don't want to uh, be accused of hyperbole, is, uh, you know, now is our time to shine. If you look at the automotive industry, there's never been so much electronics on a car. There's never been so much software. There's never been so many sensors. There's never been so many complex systems on a car as there is now. And that's only going in one direction. And so it's really this community, this, this brain trust of people that is pushing uh, that technology into the market and, and making that work and making that work for, for, for the automotive industry. So this is a really key time for us and particularly when we start looking at all of the mega trends when we look at electrification, that's only going to increase the amount of electronics we have. When we look at um, uh, autonomous vehicles, when we look at things like sensor fusion, when we look at the use of software, one of the things I was reading about the other day is now uh, in China, it's either coming into law, or it's just come into law that um, any software put onto a vehicle in China has to be being developed in, in China. That's how important software is now to the automotive industry, that there's going to be rules of origin for software. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, completely unheard of. Now, massively, massively important. Over half the value in a car is in the software. And so making sure that we keep ahead of these trends and keep ASIN as that way of understanding that and disseminating that around our community is really, really important. So that's what we mean about reshaping ASIN for our members. And so my role here as chairman is basically if, if you think there's something we should be doing, if you want to have a say about something, if you want to lead something, come and speak to me or Gunny and we can, we can make that happen and we can speak to all of the people in our membership and, and help that happen with the aim of pushing this industry forward. Um, of course, that needs uh, innovation, massively, massively important. Um, we need to focus on keeping this industry innovative. We do a great job in the UK of innovation. We have innovation clusters. We have things like the Motorsport Valley, where we do huge amounts of innovation. But sometimes it can be difficult getting that innovation from uh, the really smart minds doing things either in universities or in, in motorsports or in other industries and pushing that through into what some may consider the slower, more docile pace of automotive. But that slower, more docile pace is changing and we have to move quickly. And in my mind, something like electrification and how that's disrupting the industry is a great example of that. So yeah, however, with that comes these issues. And that's one of the things we're gonna talk about a little bit today is the supply chain. Um, you, you, know, you can have a conversation with the layperson in the street about the silicon supply chain um, and how that's impacting the automotive industry. Again, two years ago, three years ago, wouldn't have even been a topic of conversation half the people in this room would be interested in. But actually now, that's probably one of the most pressing, pressing things in the automotive industry and probably impacting a lot of people's everyday lives as well as getting hold of silicon devices to make their, their products work. And, and one of the things, quite frankly, that, that's pushing the cost of living up and impacting everybody in, in other ways as well. Um, so this, this industry and by extension ASIN and our membership is becoming more and more important, more and more influential. Um, it's great to see so many people here, been coming here for the last uh, three, four, five years um, and the number of people has grown. Um, I don't know if we'll break any records with the number this year, um, but I think there's one record we're going to break, um, which is probably that the first panel session will start on time. Um, and that's probably because as anybody who's been here will know, Alan Banks, who usually does this opening, uh, does like to talk. Um, and, and usually we start about five, ten minutes late. But I don't want to stand here and, and uh, do a character assassination of him. It's because he's, he's passionate about this industry and moving ASIN and its membership forward. Um, and that's, that, that's really at the hub of what we do here at ASIN is, is moving the industry forward on behalf of our members. Um, 
So, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to say. If you have any thoughts on how ASIN can help, help, um, help you, help the industry moving forward, we've run some workshops already with some of our members to understand that. Um, we're looking at how we can restructure some of our work streams, uh, some of the events that we can do to make sure we stay focused and helping, helping you, our members. Um, please come and talk to me and please come and, please come and say how we can do that. Thank you very much. Thank you.